Goodbye, Hope. I've really thoroughly enjoyed the last two seasons of my scenes with Hope because I feel like that's a really interesting aspect of the character that I've gotten to explore. I have to be quiet, little Hope Marshall. When I'm so mad, I want to scream. Well, welcome to the bloody party! In like the second episode, they have this really, really big fight. I waited for you for years, but you didn't come. They haven't been around each other in eight years and they just kind of lay everything out on the table and it goes from angry and emotional to like sad and heartbreaking love. Forgive me, my brother. Season one, I'll always have a, a, a special place in my heart for that. Mercy makes you weak. Family makes you weak. It was really trying to transition from the villain to a more responsible villain is probably as, about as far as I go. Maybe not the hero, but you know, a slightly more morally conscious villain. Whoever picks up this coin gets to live. The whole sequence in, in the compound, fighting all the vampires and being betrayed by my brother and sister, and, and then episode 16 getting trapped in the city of the dead and putting Rebecca on trial. That was really fun. You should see yourself. You look like father. That's always been the core of the show for me. I really feel like the fights between us and the dynamics between the family have been the most enjoyable and the most kind of emotional part of it. Now I'm asking you brother to brother. We end this nonsense now.